Welcome to Unit 4.7. In this unit, you're going to learn how to insert rows and columns as well as delete rows and columns. Let's take the spreadsheet as an example. Perhaps I want to add a new month into the spreadsheet. After April, I want to put a column for May. So I would be needing to insert a column between column E and F. Let's click on the F. The reason why I'm clicking there is when you insert a column, it will go in front of the column you've chosen. There are various ways of doing it to do it from the ribbon. On your home ribbon, you have an option to say insert. And I'm just going to click on the button insert. And if I click on it many times, it inserts more than one. If I want to delete, I would select the columns and click on delete. If I wanted to do this on the keyboard, I would use the keyboard shortcut control plus and control minus. Please bear in mind if you're working on a laptop and you don't have a side keypad, you would have to say control shift plus to insert because the plus is at the top of the button and just control minus to remove. If I wanted to do this doing rows instead of columns, let's click on the seven. Remember, I'm clicking on the seven because when I insert, it will insert a row above where I am. So in other words, between self and total. Once again, because I've selected a whole row, it knows and understands I want to insert a row. Once again, I'm gonna click on the insert button on the home ribbon and delete. Using the keyboard, once again, control plus and control minus to remove. Alternatively, I could right click on the F and click on insert. Right click on the F again, click on delete. If I were to right click using rows, click on the seven, right click, insert, and to remove, right click, delete. 